Yum, yum! Uh, brain, I don't feel so good. Huh? Heart, what's wrong? I'm not sure, but I haven't been feeling right lately. Like I've been getting weaker and weaker every day. Same here. Huh? Even the lungs? Yup, we've been running more and more out of breath lately. Even standing up feels like an effort. I don't understand. From what I can tell, we're not sick at all. In fact, we're perfectly healthy. What you got there, stomach? Um, the Biggie Combo Doctor, Biggie Triple Decker Burger, Biggie Fries, and a Biggie Soda. Yum, yum. Doctor, oh, thank goodness. Something's wrong. Heart says he's getting weaker and weaker every day. And the lungs say they're constantly out of breath. Well, stomach essentially gave the diagnosis already. Huh? Your diet sucks, brain. No, no, that can't be. We stopped eating only sugary foods a while ago. We're back to eating normal food now, and we feel much better. Uh, no we don't. See, brain, poor nutrition can result in being overweight and even obesity. This in turn leads to high blood pressure and cholesterol, which results in heart disease and stroke. A stroke? Oh, no. Ahem. You're also at risk of getting type 2 diabetes at this rate. And if this goes on for too long, even cancer. Yeesh, was I really doing that bad? What should I do? Well, you should pay- Hey, wait a minute! What? What? We're about due for another long episode is what? If I give you the answers this early in the runtime, then the episode will be too short. And that's no good for the algorithm. Algorithm? Don't worry about it. Point is, you should figure out a new diet if you know what's good for you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for my handball tournament. I wonder if he'll take home the gold this year. Well, this sucks. What do I do now? Uh, stomach, what do you think? Hmm. For dinner, I think we should eat a nice, juicy steak. Steak? Steak! Stomach, you're a genius! I know! The other day on social media, I read that the latest trend these days is what people call a carnivore diet, meaning that you should only eat meat and nothing else. Uh, is that a good idea, Brain? Sure, a bunch of influencers swear by it. Oh, you're right. Influencers are always right. Mmm, steak. Okay, it's been a few weeks now. Lungs? Heart? How do you feel? Now that all the extra weight's off, I'm feeling much better. It feels so good to breathe properly again! Ditto for me! Thanks, Brain! Man, those influencers never miss! This carnivore diet is great! I do kind of miss some of the other types of food, but oh well, we're feeling better than ever, so it's worth it. I do kind of miss some of the other types of food, but oh well, we're feeling better than ever, so it's worth it. Stomach, what are you raring for tonight? Another steak? Or do we feel like chicken or fish? Oh, brain? I don't feel so good. Huh? What's wrong, stomach? I... I don't know, actually. I really love eating all that meat every day, but lately... I just haven't been feeling right. Look, we took home the gold today. Oh, doctor, I'm so happy for you. Doctor, thank goodness you're back. There's something wrong with stomach. Oh. Oh. Did you fix your diet like I told you? Yeah, I switched to an all-meat diet, and we feel better than ever. No, we don't. An all-meat diet has resulted in weight loss for a lot of people because of the restriction of certain highly caloric processed foods like sugar. And the satiating effect of eating plenty of protein can also result in eating less food per meal in the long term. That's what the influencers said. But this sort of diet does lack a few micronutrients, and most of all, fiber. What's that? It's a digestible carbohydrate that promotes gut health and healthy bowel movements. Going without it for a long time explains why stomach's feeling down in the dumps. But, but the influencers! Drag yourself out of social media and think for yourself for once. Ugh, fine. What is lots of fiber then? Uh, vegetables? Yup, exactly right. All right, then we'll eat just that then. Uh, Brain, you think that's a good idea? Sure, everyone's always saying how healthy vegetables are, right? What could go wrong? All right, it's been another few weeks with this new diet. How are you feeling, stomach? I've actually never felt better, brain. Although I do miss the constant influx of meat, I can't really complain because I feel healthier than ever. Cool, cool, what about the rest of you? Can't complain. Yup, this diet's suiting us just dandy. Yeah, like stomach, I'm actually feeling the best I've ever been. Oh, I'm so happy for everyone. Now why don't you all just stay as happy as you are while I slip into a coma and die? Uh. Brain? Did someone record the time of death? Uh, not yet, Doctor. I think that was just a figure of speech. Is that a new trophy? No, I just like carrying it around. Okay? Brain, what's wrong? Sorry I said all that, buddies. 
but I am genuinely happy that you all are feeling great again. It's just, I think it's me that's suffering this time. What's wrong? What's wrong? I've been having these splitting headaches lately, and I haven't had any energy. I just want to lie down all day and do nothing. Plus, I have all these body aches all the time. All right, what did you do this time? Well, Doctor, after the last incident, we switched everything up again. Now we're eating an all-vegetable diet. Eating only vegetables can be highly nutritious because they naturally carry plenty of micronutrients and are low in calories, which results in plenty of long-term weight loss. That all sounds excellent. Oh, so why do I feel like death punched me an early ticket? Eating literally just vegetables can still leave you lacking in certain nutrients, like vitamin B12, calcium, zinc, and omega-3. That sounds like a lot. It is. Collectively, this can result in what brain's been feeling. Fatigue, headaches, depression, problems with thinking, reasoning, and memory, lack of bone density, and joint pain. Yep, that sounds about right. Oh, and it feels worse than it sounds. So what do we do, Doctor? Your diet still sucks, Brain. No need to lay it on so thick, Doctor. I can feel it. But I've tried three diets already, and all of them suck. Uh, I think I know. Stomach? It may seem like I'm just some garbage compactor stuffing away any and all food all the time. And I admit I do enjoy that role. But I actually understand food much more than anyone here. One of my main functions is to break down food and help distribute its nutrients to the rest of you after all. Exactly right. Ooh, stomach stepping up to the plate. So what I'm proposing is not a radical idea, but I don't blame Brain for not coming up with it immediately, because with the number of food options in the modern world today, it can all seem quite overwhelming. Too true. But we should also allow ourselves some junk food every once in a while to feel good and experience what's out there. This is so we don't feel too restricted in our diet and succumb to cravings. I'm speechless. Stomach's a bona fide dietitian. I don't know about that, but I am a genuine food lover. Man, I feel great. Tons of energy and not a problem in sight. What about you, buddies? Hey, okay. I feel great no as well. No problems Healthy here. As ever. Healthy as ever. This feels so nice. Thanks for the dietary advice, Stomach. From now on, I'll listen to you more and order you around less with advice I got from the internet. No problem, Brain. By the way, what are we going to prepare for Christmas dinner? Christmas? Oh, I didn't realize it was that late in the year. Oh, yeah. I could never forget the turkey, ham, mashed potatoes, gravy cakes. There goes the diet. <laughs>